Okay, now question is that instead of two tailed test, if you had one tailed test, how you would have tested it? What you have done here is that you have a 5% level of significance, then you are looking at 2.5% of tails on either side. In case if you had a one, one, uh, one, one level of uh, one tail test, then in that case, you would have put the entire 5% on either side, whichever test it is. Um, say for example, I'll, I'll just give you an example here. Let me just change the color, which you have like this. Okay, and uh, and uh, you have this here. This is the distribution of beta hat. Clear? So supposedly, if it is a one-tailed test, huh? If it is a one-tailed test and your hypothesis is that H naught is that say beta 2 is equal to 0 and H1 is say beta 2 is greater than 0. Then instead of putting see what, what exactly you did in, in beta 2 not equal to 0. If it was 5% level of significance, you are looking at 2.5% of tails on either sides. But now what you will be doing is now since it is a one tailed test, so you will be looking for the entire 5% on the side which you have assumed. Okay, so you will be looking at this is your alpha equals to 0 0.05. Fine. So in your in your t table, you will be looking for the level of significance of alpha equals to 0 0.05 fine instead of looking for 0 0.0 uh, 0 0.05 upon 2 okay that is 0 0.0025 you'll be looking for alpha equals to 0 0.05 okay in case if it, if it would have been beta 2 less than 0 then you you would have put the entire 5% on this side huh you would have put the entire 5% on this side and would have actually found out in case if your beta 2 is lying here or not. Okay. So this is a one tail test. I'll be giving the um, I'll be I'll be giving the proper examples of this. These are just the introduction to your hypothesis testing in the econometric modeling.